Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the third part of the whole types assignment. Uh, in this demo, we're going to continue working on the 11 holes uh, that we're going to be making in this assignment. Um, first, let's review what we have so far. So we have a simple hole, and the simple hole has no counter bore, no counter sink, and no external thread. It has a flat bottom here. This is a simple hole with an angled bottom here. And same with this, it has a different diameter and a different depth, but it's the same. And this one has a counter bore, which is that rectangular top part. Uh, and again, this has a flat bottom. And this has a counter sink, which has that angled uh, inverted triangle top part right here. So the uh, holes that we're going to be making from here on out, with the exception of one of them, are going to have external thread on them. And so that is going to give you a, um, well, it's going to be in addition to whatever uh, instructions are given. So um, in addition to diameters, depths, counter bores, counter sinks, and all that other part. So let's hit H and we're going to activate our whole function. All right, and here it is. And we're going to click on the next point here to create our hole. Thinking it'll kick in. Oh, there we go. Great. Okay. So let's take a look at what we have here. My um, fusion's a little glitchy right now. Okay. So in the instructions, this is obviously a simple, um, simple thing. It has no counter bore, no counter sink. It goes all the way through. So in distance, we want all. Um, for we want simple here. We want threaded here, tapped. So when it could be just a regular one like this, here we want to go to tapped and that's going to add threading to it. But it's not real threading um, until we click off on a particular box. And that box here is modeled and that's right here. And you can see that that is um, checked off here. So if we uncheck it, it has a different look than when we do check it. And when we do check it, it, make, it gives it a physical appearance. So everything else having to do with the um, threading is in these right here, okay? So if it says U and C or U and F, um, that will be found here, all right? And it depends on, um, oh no, it's gonna be found here, I'm sorry. If it's a U and F or U and C, um, so those menu items will be here. Okay, but let's change a few things. So we're gonna keep it universal screw threads. The size of this, okay, of the threading, it says um, one half 20. So let's just take a look to see whether that exists um, and where we can find that. Um, so one half 20, let's see, I don't, let's change this here to one B. Okay, let's change to 1D and let's see what else is here. So one half 20, I am not seeing that here. I am seeing U and F, but I'm not seeing um, that, spart that particular one. Okay, so I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna choose none of these, all right. And for the size, let's just say, we're gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna make it 0.5 here. All right, all right, I'm gonna leave this here. Actually, no, that was wrong. I'm gonna change this. I'm actually gonna change it back. All right, now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this whole over with. Okay, I'm gonna change this back. To what it was, I think it was this. Okay, and that's one B. So we're just going to um, keep that as it is. And out of the choices that um, I had, I didn't see uh, what was on the um, the blueprint, but uh, this looks closest to what we're going to have here. So we'll just work with that. Um, I'm going to. Uh, activate my whole function again, and we're gonna to go to the next one. And what makes this one different is that it has threading on the outside, but only in a very particular part. 
So, okay, so that appeared. And um, also it is a uh, blind, it doesn't go all the way through. So we're gonna change our distance to two. And that's gonna um, give us that arrow and we can then set that um, depth right here. So the depth, the whole depth of this is going to be 150. So that's correct. Well, I'm gonna take off this tap and go to simple. Okay, I'm also going to, okay, so we're gonna keep this simple all the way through and we're gonna change the diameter here to um, 0.32. Okay, and then um, that's all there is to it. So once we have that, we need to go back into create and we're gonna go under thread here. And then once we click on it, it'll highlight and more arrows will appear. We, um, we want to add modeled right here again. And um, is here and this should actually and let's change some of the um okay so the size here and the direction let's take a look at the direction okay we'll change it right hand um the size here three eight sixteenth three eight so i'm going to do three seven. Be okay, but we still don't have um, we still don't have the uh, the right direction that we want to go in. Hold on, my uh, thing is glitching. Okay, uh, actually, okay, so let's just, let's just do this over here. Okay, go back to thread. You and C. Okay. Okay. Now we need to, um, Okay, so we're gonna take off full length here. All right, and that's gonna give us these arrows here. So this is what we're looking for. This is about halfway. So I'm gonna make this um, 0.75. Okay, but we need to bring this back up <laughs> to here and then bring this arrow down. Maybe it's the second arrow. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna change that from one to um, 0.75. Okay, and there we have it here. All right, and that's how we add external threading. So the next one we're going to do is going to be a counter bore with external threading. So we're gonna to go to our second option. Well, first, um, let's click where we want the hole. We're gonna to go to our second option here. This has an angled bottom. And uh, let's just type in what everything is. So uh, we're gonna not pay attention to the, um, okay, let me see. Okay, the whole thing is gonna be 0.75. So we're gonna get that here. That's uh, this, but actually it's really is the same length as this. We're gonna make it here. Um, let's get the depth correct. 
This counter bore here is going to be 0 0.88. The um, we're gonna make this here 0.5. Okay, and um, we're gonna make the depth here. This is of the counter bore 0.25. So that's what it is. I'm gonna leave this here. Let it set, and then we're gonna go to thread again. Okay, so now that um, full length is not on and modeled is, we have the external one and we have these different air, um, arrows here. So this is actually um, lines up with this here. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna move it up. Hold on, I think it's this arrow. My, um, there, that looks good, 0.5. I'm gonna set that and it has an angled bottom, just like that. I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so we have that now. The next one is just going to be um, a very simple one. So this doesn't have a counter bore, it doesn't have a counter sink, it doesn't have threading. It's just gonna go, um, it's just gonna go part way. It's got a depth of 2.5, so we're gonna make that simple. Um, the whole length of it, we're going to change that from 1.5 to 2. All right, and then we're going to change the diameter to 0 0.39. Enter. Okay, and we have only two more. So we're going to, um, this one is going to be our countersink. And go here. All right, this one is gonna go all the way through. So I'm gonna change it to all. I'm gonna change it to a flat bottom. Um, I'm gonna change it to countersink. All right, and let's take a look at the countersink. So the diameter of the countersink here is not 0.88, it's 0.80. And, and it's 60 degrees, which is what it is. And this part, the bottom part here, and I believe everything else is correct. So I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna go back to thread. And we're just gonna look at the bottom part here. Okay, I'm gonna take this here. I'm gonna drag it all the way down. Sorry, wrong arrow. And go back to thread. Let's just see what happens when I do full length here. Beautiful. Okay. And that's that. We're going to hit OK on that. And then we're down to our last one, which is going to be a counter bore. We're going to change that to counter bore. Oh, hold on a second. I haven't, um, let me do whole. Let me select where it is. It's gonna be, which is right there. Okay, now we're gonna change it to counter bore. It's gonna go all the way through. And let's just take a look at the dimensions here. So the counter bore part is going to be one. So I'm gonna take a look at that. The um, diameter, I'm gonna change that from 0.88 to one, and then the depth of that is 0.25, so that's all good. And we're going to add our threading. Okay, so this, this part here, it needs to be 0.50. Oh, that's 0.5 here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, it's 0.25. Okay. All right, so that's looking good. And let's just take a look at the, the threading is going to be done separately. 
Okay, so let's just take a look at that. Okay, so we're gonna hit enter here. We're gonna go to our thread. I'm not gonna make it full length. Okay, and this says one fourth UNC. I'm not really seeing that. Let's see if we could change some of the other things like one B. Um, see if that changes anything. It does not. One fourth says 0.25. I'm not seeing that option UNC. So that's already there on UNC. So I'm just gonna leave that. Um, the length of that of the thread, I believe is gonna be 0.25. Let's just see what happens when we put that in there. Perfect, okay. So that's where we're gonna do that. And then the size here, we're going to make it 0.25 instead. There we go. Okay, so with that, We have our different holes. Um, I might not have been as careful as I could have been in seeing whether I have the correct threading um, according to my blueprint, but um, please make sure to do that. So I'm going to make one more video that's going to um, show you how to make a drawing of it, which you pretty much already know. So I will show you that in the next video.